Hello, everyone. This is Iggy for Iggy's Toy Parade and Soldier Review. Today, I have a mystery box. Now, I came upon this mystery box in my storage space yesterday. I had gone there to replace the damp rid uh, moisture cake, you know, for the uh, moisture trap, because there's a lot of humidity here in Florida. So I try and uh, suck some of that moisture out of there so I don't ruin all my books. Anyway, some boxes had fallen over and uh, I grabbed the one that was on the uppermost part of the pile and brought it home because I have no idea what's in here. If you can see, there's nothing there's nothing written on it. Usually I would write like on the side, G.I. Joe, Star Wars, something like that. This one, I had no clue. So it's a mystery box. So I took it home and I started to take the packing out, which you see here. I'm in the cowboy kitchen, by the way. Cowboys, yay. Let's take this packaging out. And what do I find? I don't know, what do I find? Uh, let's see, the first thing that comes up is a part of a stockade. Let me uh, put the camera down. So I'm not wobbling all over the place. And this, I think, is from uh, Fort Buffalo. And I can see right away that it's been warped. I was afraid of that. It's See how it's warped? It's completely warped from being in storage so long. I don't know how I'm going to fix that. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, next up. We have some artillery pieces and it looks like this is from, there's a couple of them here, blue and gray. Where's the tubes? All right, here's the barrels. Let's see if we can put one on here for you. That's the blue one. And here's the gray one. Okay. All right. Now, I think this is... Uh, this is probably warped, too. <laughs> yeah, that's what I get. You have your stuff in storage for 30 years, and when you finally take something out, it's worthless. I'm going to have to glue that on there because it's not going to stay... See that? It's not working. Anyway, I think this is from IMEX. Um, they did, they mostly make 172 sk shit. Oh well. So, so far, what I'm pulling out of this box is crap. Well, let's see what else is in here. Okay. And we have some, what looks like Tempo Arabs, or Taureg Arabs, for the French Foreign Legion. Now this guy, oh, I'm looking at the back of his head. I'm like, oh my God, he has no face. But I'm looking at the back of him. Uh, I think he has this sort of like, hi there, hello, French peoples. Um... I think he's been shot. That's why he's in that pose. Uh, here's a swordsman, not to be confused with the Cairo swordsman. He's actually a pretty cool looking figure. And then we have a guy with a dagger for some hand-to-hand -hand combat. And uh, it looks like he's all set for COVID-19. He's got his face mask on there. Uh, what else do I have here? Uh, a fella holding a rifle and appears to be pointing and he has a, a nice a nice beard there. He's Obi-Wan Kenobi. Anyway, uh, it's four poses and I think I got like two or three of of each one here. They appear to be in, in pretty good condition. So that, that's good. All right, what else do I have up in here? 
Uh, what is this? This is a... It's broken. Nice. This was... It's broken. Oh, crap. Another item ruined. I don't know if these things can be fixed. This is a um, German 7.5 anti-tank gun. And this is made by Ultimate Soldier. And it appears to be very warped. So another one for the trash heap. Unless I can fix them. Alright, what is here? Oh, I know what these are. These are Tempo Cannons. Now, I believe these are reproduction Tempo Cannons. I bought them in the 90s from a... Uh, well, actually, maybe even in the 80s. From a place called Stone Castle Imports. there in Kentucky. I don't even know if Stone Castle Imports is in business still. Because... Uh, Oh, you can see the wheels are warped. Jesus, this is disgusting. I knew I would regret putting all this in storage. Anyway, what's, what do I have here? Probably something else that's warped. Oh, this is a... I think they call it Sherlia. Sherlia, Sherlia. And I... I think it's British, although the name sounds very French. Does it say any name on the back here? Anyway, it's a larger scale than, it's kind of like a swap it, but uh, it's got a weird looking head. Anyway, he, you can turn him. He doesn't appear to be warped or anything. Let me set him up and see if he... Uh... Okay, so that one is not warped. That's good. We got something out of this. And what do we have here? All right, here's some more artillery pieces with uh, some animals, uh, horses to pull the the uh, got the case on. There's a... Let me pull the case on out. I saw, I showed you the artillery piece. This, I believe, is also IMAX. And right away, I can see the wheel is broken. You can see it. It snapped right there. It's worthless. I probably shouldn't have opened this because I'm starting to get depressed. You know, I've, I've been waiting so long to have my things, and, uh, oh, I bet these are broken, too. These are, um, Forces of Valor Romans, which is made of a high, a hard plastic, and right away, I can see this one is broken. You can see his, his shield has, um, broken off can't see what I'm looking at here is that upside down is it this way I can't see it anyway these were really nice figures I bought quite a number of these um, but the first one I pull out is broken so that's kind of depressing and this one is a Roman cavalryman. And you can see that this one is accurate in that there's no stirrups. The stirrups were introduced uh, to Europe by the Arabs or the Moors. Um, prior to that, the uh, saddle had no stirrups which I imagine made it hard to control the horse and also could make it so you'd fall out a lot easier. But the base of this has broken off. 
And this one, too, the base is broken off. The rest of it appears to be okay. No, that's not true. It, the, uh, no, I guess it's okay. Anyway, these were pretty cool figures, I thought. I enjoyed collecting these when these, these used, you could buy them at Target years ago. But all the cool stuff like this is long gone. You can't get anything like that anymore. Alright, let's see what else I have here. This looks like a, a Canon and Quezon by Rel. So let's pull, and I probably bought this from Stone Castle Imports years ago. There's the <coughs> there's the gun carriage. The wheels seem to be okay. It's not warped or anything. It's made of a hard plastic. <coughs> and uh, if Stone Castle Imports is still in business, I'd like someone to uh, leave a comment and let me know. And of course, it came complete with the the horses, which look. Somewhat similar to the Marx one, only they, these are a little bigger and the detail is not as fine. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm trying to hurry along because I have to be at work. I have to leave for work in 30 minutes. There's the gun tube. <coughs> so one cannon and caisson. What else is down here? Oh, this is part of a Marx blockhouse. <clears throat> is it warped? I hope not. Looks okay. Let's see what else is in here. <coughs> uh, these are recoilless rifles, and they appear to be based on the Marx. Recoilless rifle, however, these are not marks. These are knockoffs made years and years later and put into cheapo army sets. When I when I was first collecting, I was so desperate for toy soldiers that I that I even bought cheapo stuff. Anyway, that's what those are. What else is in here? And I have no idea what just fell. Oh, this is a sandbags from, what was it, Forces of Valor? I think so. What else is in here? Okay, here is the top of the Mark's uh, blockhouse. And it appears to be in okay condition. Let's see what else I got here. And here's the floor. This is the floor piece to the um, blockhouse. And what do I have here? Let's open this up because I can't. I can't tell what's in here. Oh crap! I just sealed it. It looks like it's uh, Forces of Valor. <laughs> I hate it when I do this. There we go. That was pretty clumsy. Oh, oh, this is uh, this is Ultimate Soldier um, Africa Corps. Now this is a really fine piece. I love this. Look at that. That is so cool. Now the um, the shorts and the pith helmets were not worn in combat. They found out very quickly that um, the shorts uh, they the men kept getting cuts on their legs from uh, rocks and things that would be flown up from either bullets ricocheting off of stuff or. Um, you know, shrapnel, whatever it was, they just decided that the shorts were not good. And the pith helmet was unsatisfactory for combat. So they started wearing um, 
the stahl helm and they would paint it as sand color same color that they painted their vehicles um, they did wear these in the back areas so supply troops would wear them and off-duty soldiers would wear their, wear them now this appears to be an mg-34 you can see the little drum magazine right there this is an awesome figure i'm glad it's not broken and here's another one. Now these I'm excited to find these. Uh, another. Now, this could be a possible pose when they first get to Africa and they had to be acclimated to the weather because uh, it was so drastically different from European weather. It would be extremely hot at night and then very cold. Excuse me, I have that backwards. Extremely hot during the day. And then very cold at night, so they would have to have an overcoat. And the overcoats were uh, different from the European version in that they were like a, a brown color instead of the Feldgrau. And you can see he's holding the, uh, the uh, 98K, which is distinctive from the uh, uh, 98K. Gewehr, is that how you say it, Gewehr? <clears throat> In that it's uh, shorter, it has a turn down bolt, which you can see right there. Um, so that's a pretty cool looking figure. What else, what else is in here? I gotta keep my eye on the time. I don't wanna be late. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is, I think this is original Ford Apache figures. This is Mark's Ford Apache figures. And, yeah, how do you like that? It's holding a turkey. A little Thanksgiving there for you. And these are a very strange, the Mark's, figures for their Fort Apache are very strange. Uh, I'll show you this here. It looks like he's a frontiersman. See how he's got like the long shirt with a belt around it? He's got... I, I'm not sure. Um, is that a... Yeah, he's got a powder horn. So, and he's got a rifle that clearly indicates he's not a cavalryman, but that's how Marx designated them. And uh, you got a swordsman. None of these say marks on the bottom, so these could possibly be reproductions. Although there are some uh, figures that are you got to be watch out for because they'll say marks on the bottom. They come from Mexico, and they they didn't. When the molds were sold to them, they uh, didn't grind off the marks uh, stamp on the on the bottom of the mold. Um, and this is nice. It's got a axe in the. Uh, did I paint this? I don't, it's usually one color, so maybe I painted that. I don't remember that. And uh, my brother used to take this figure and convert him into a Civil War Confederate. But you see he's got a powder horn, which is... It's like, what time period are they trying to depict here? I think Mark's uh, Civil War soldiers are, are much better. He's got like a flintlock pistol in his belt so what time period is this I have no idea I said that already and this one looks like uh, Larry Storch from uh, F Troop <laughs> anyway that gives you an idea of what we got there? I'm guessing they're repro since I don't see any uh, 
mark stamps on. Oh, this is one of those pencil sharp. See the pencil sharpener that you buy it uh, when you go to the national parks. Uh, this particular one, I think I bought in uh, Vicksburg. And uh, that's kind of cool. It's made of metal. What is this? This is uh, this truly has been a mystery box. I I don't remember putting any of this stuff in here. I have this looks like odds and sods, odds and ends. Oh oh, I know what this is. This is a uh, reproduction uh, Mark's ambulance stuff. And a wagon driver, which he also is Mark's and reproduction. And what do we have here? This is more of the Sherlia. Is that how you say it, guys? I don't know how you're supposed to say that. Sherlia? Churlia? I think they're from... I should have looked it up. Uh, this one, the base is broken off the horse. Some more destroyed stuff. Here's another swordsman from Tempo. I remember buying the French Foreign Legion ones too, but there's no sign of them in here so far. What is this? Oh, I bought like 40 cowboys and Indians that were sort of uh, like Tempo or Transigram knockoffs. Knockoffs. They, they were knockoffs of knockoffs. And I got a whole bunch of them for really cheap. Let me see if I can pull one out so you can get an idea what level of detail we're talking about. They're like Tempo, only they're a little bit smaller than Tempo, but they have the, you know, the upper body swivels. It has accessories similar to that of Tempo. But who knows who made these? Okay, what else I got here? All right, here's another piece. I'm starting to run out of room here. Here's another piece of the uh, Marx Block House. I think I have four Marx Block Houses now. I have three in the dark brown plastic. And uh, well, here's some more of those uh, Tempo knockoffs. Let's see if we can... Get another pose here for you. Different pose. Yeah, they might they might all be the same, tell you the truth. I got these for really cheap, I remember, on eBay. These are different. Yeah, they're not bad. I, I mean I can use them with my uh, tempo Indians, at, you know, maybe in the background or something. Okay, what do I have here? What is, oh, these look like what people call Andy Guard figures. No, <laughs> I was dead wrong. These are French foreign tempo. No. These are French Foreign Legion armies in plastic, I think. Is it say on the bottom? Yes, these are armies in plastic, French Foreign Legion. Let's see what else poses I have. Here's a fellow kneeling down. Okay. And we have... This one here is a tempo. This one is definitely tempo. Okay. So apparently this is a mixture of... Uh, this one also is tempo, French Foreign Legion. And uh, so it's a mixture of armies in plastic. He is in his long coat, which is nice. I always thought that looked really cool. 
the French Foreign Legion uniform. I always thought it was really cool. And he also is wearing long coat. These two, these are tempo again. This is a nice pose because you can put him in your French Foreign Legion fort. And he's stabbing over the uh, rampart there. Or the, where the crenellations are along the top of the fort. And this guy is trying to squeeze a fart out, I guess. I don't know. Sort of a strange pose. This one is a good pose, though. Anyway, that's some of those. I'm trying to hurry now because I'm sensitive to what time it is. Here's some more of those Sherlia cowboys. And it looks like the bases are not broken on those. That's disappointing to find so many damaged ones. This is another piece of the uh, Mark's blockhouse. Seems like I've... I wonder if I have more than one of those in there. Uh, this is a Mark's... This is a reproduction Mark's... Uh, revolution, rev, what, what am I trying to say? Revolutionary War artillery piece. That's this is a really cool. Luckily, it's not broken. This is a really cool item. I was using these for my. I had a well before I uh, moved. I had a French and Indian War set up. I put up a. A Mark's um, front um, Port Apache with blockhouse, and then I um, had French troops and Indians and cannons like this, and I had a bunch of trees. It was pretty cool. I really liked it. Glad it's not broken. All right, here's the cupola to the blockhouse. Glad, glad the uh, flagpole didn't break off in it in the cupola, which happens a lot. What the hell is this? Is this? This looks like pieces of. Yeah, this is like tempo pieces or something. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, these are uh, Blue Box International, and they were made of metal instead of plastic. And, well, the the weapons were uh, plastic. Now, what a lot of people don't know is that the um, Germans weren't the first to develop a weapon that you could shoot around corners with. Obviously, according to this, the Romans invented a, what are they called, a pilum? I'm not sure what they, I think it's a pilum. Anyway, clearly it's in bad shape from being in storage. I imagine all of them are like that. You know, this one not quite as bad, but close to it. All right, moving along. This is an Arab tent, or a medieval tent. You could use either or. And uh, I think this came from Marx's uh, Captain Gallant playset. And they probably used it in their Noble Knights set too. But it has some accessories that came with it. It is a, truly a mishmash of what's in here. Here's some more of those Romans. This is very heavy, so it's the metal ones. And you can see all of them, the spears are severely warped. I'll, I'll take one out to give you an, an example of how badly these are. Oh, shit. The... I'm running out of room. It's starting to push the camera off the table now. What else is in this box? You know what? I probably should do a part two video because there's still a lot of stuff in the box. So let me sign off. I got to get to work. It's um, time for me to go. 
Uh, thank you for coming along while I went through the mystery box. I'm sorry if I swore more than usual. It's it's just hurtful to see your investment destroyed because you can't properly display your things. Um, as a result of the changing temperature in storage, plus the dryness and the wetness, uh, you know, from humidity and, and things like that, uh, everything gets wrecked. So if you are thinking about putting your things into storage, I urge you, just get rid of it. Uh, because by the time you get it out again, it's it's like what you see here. It's, it's just not worth your money. I've spent so much money on storage now, I could have bought a house. And that's not an exaggeration. So it kind of makes me feel sick that I've done this. But I'm not a very smart guy sometimes. Anyway, the I would say from all these things in the, that I pulled out of this box, the pleasant surprise is this Africa core figure. And the one with the uh, MG34. And this... Ah, shit. This artillery piece. And then some of the disappointments, I guess, are the... Uh, The 75, which was completely wrecked because the barrel was totally warped. Um, I, I may be able to fix some of this stuff. I don't know. You know, you do the uh, boiling water trick, but I don't know. I, at this point, I don't know yet. Anyway, thank you for coming along. Uh, sorry for the uh, rather long video. Uh, I'm going to show you the inside of the box so you can get an idea that there's still... A lot of stuff in there that I haven't even reached yet. And you can see up here on the table, there's quite a bit too. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, thanks for coming along. That's the way it is. May 21st, 2022. Bye. Happy trails.